Hey guys, this is SB4D and welcome back to another awesome Sea of Thieves video where today I'm going to be showing you and telling you in a very, very simple way how to make gold and reputation. I know guys, you clicked on the video because you need help. Well, guys, I'm here. Also, if you'd like to win a copy of Sea of Thieves, which I might add is £50 slash 60 to $70 dollars giving away a copy it's not gonna be easy I don't have a lot of money I barely have any money but as soon as we reach 13,000 subscribers guys I will be giving one of you guys a copy of this and you will be coming on board with me and my crew and I will take you for a proper private spin if you've watched the videos you know I'm good for it all you have to do is like comment and subscribe and the reason why I say drop a like is because it helps me and the comment also helps you because then I can choose someone from the comment and the more people I see in the comment dropping comments is someone I'm more likely to choose because they're interacting with me it's all about giving and taking so you know what to do like comment and subscribe as soon as we reach 13,000 I will announce a winner in discord however okay so you've seen so much loot skulls treasure chests in sea of thieves skulls normally sell more than everything um, for some reason there ha there are uh, chests on the game such as the crying chest which gives you quite a decent amount of gold but there's nothing quite like doing the sea of thieves skull fortress it's fairly simple you can actually solo it if you're sweaty enough I will be attempting a solo live on stream very soon I'm with my crew and we are going to Skull Island. That's right guys, massive skull in the sky. It lights up. It's basically telling everybody in on the server, yo, we're awake. The skeletons are at force. But guess what guys, what they don't realise is we're coming for that loot. We're coming for that booty mate. I must say, I love this game. I love the loot. I love what they've done. I just... just just need that loot so it's quite simple you've got all types of skeletons over here guys you've got ones which we just slash to death which is the shadow skeletons which you can either kill in daytime or flash a lantern on them or you've got these guys where you you pretty much you kill them with swords the ones with the leaves on it uh, that's how you kill these guys I wouldn't really bother wasting bullets on them like I do I know you can't help it but they really do die very quickly with a good slash with the sword um, you might want to lunge at shotgunners because it does uh, put them off edge it actually interrupts their shot now these guys make me laugh the uh, skeletons with gold if you throw water on them you will notice that they pretty much go black like, like a rusty gold which means they are then more vulnerable to attacks they're gonna die that is the way to kill them pretty much if you're gonna hit a gold skeleton on dry land <laughs> no water <laughs> my pit my idea would just be spitting their eyeballs and just poke them in the eyes but that's just me after that you're gonna be coming across a boss he's not very hard to be fair for a raid boss he's pretty flimsy he will just disappear he drops a key now this key unlocks the treasures of all treasures guys like i'm talking the best treasure the best chests the best loot in sea of thieves is right here a lot of people are scared to come here because of the fact that you will be pvp guys it's part of the game it's so important that you come on over here and you interact now we got lucky here because well nobody interrupted us but I remember the first time I went to I came here and I think it's on my channel we actually killed a group that was doing what we've just done which means they did all the dirty work they killed the boss or they nearly killed the boss we killed them I remember shooting the cannon and hitting three of them with one shot so that took them out we took their ship out and we took their loot which means I understand that people would rather go do voyages and and uh, shipwrecks and stuff but guys you are really missing out on a big part of the game and there are going to be more of these type of raids these type of seas with fortresses and stuff because it's a, it's the pirate's life guys it's so important that you just log on load up your game sit down and say it's just a game i'm gonna have so much fun with this i'm gonna dare myself i'm gonna put myself in situations where i might die who cares you're gonna respawn to be fair 
there is no death penalty in Sea of Thieves. In fact, there's not really that much penalty at all or benefits of killing skeletons and players. Apart from if you see a ship, it might have loot on it. But let's be real, if you kill a player, you don't get XP, you don't get gold. Same goes for any PvE thing. Personally, I would like to see them implement uh, a gold system where you kill skeletons. Anything you kill, capture, or players you kill, you get a certain amount of gold because then that would allow people to accumulate gold by doing it. You know, you could farm on an island killing their PVE creatures, or you could farm by killing players, or you know, it all adds up. There just there's no meaning to it. However, I'm okay with it because, like I said, there's the fortresses. This is where people will come, PvP, PvE, raid bosses, skulls and cannons, ship wars, you name it guys, this is the game to play at the moment. I just can't wait for the DLC to come out. And that's me, done here guys, I appreciate you being here so much, literally I do. Every like, every comment, every subscription leads me to back to my 72,000 subscribers that I lost two years ago. And we really need to get there guys, I've got three kids, I ain't giving up, I'm not going anywhere, this is my life, YouTube, I love what I do, I love entertaining you guys. Basically I should just be a belly dancer, what do you think? Anywho, I will see you guys in the next video, take care you pirate.